two unbeatens. Ready to battle for the heavyweight championship of college football. I was 18 years old and I was a backup. But I told coach the week before, like, if you put me in the game, I am going to take over. Now the option look in Colt McCoy, number 57, Darius. I knew it was a hard hit because I felt it a week later. Colt is hurt. I remember everything just shutting off. Basically, my ear, my neck, and my right arm, it was just gone. Looks of concern on that Texas sideline. And so they take me back to the locker room. I told them to bring a football. My dad's standing over in the corner, and I'm trying to just play ball. I'm trying to play catch with him, and I, I can't get the ball out of my hand, much less like he's only standing five yards from me. I remember just sitting there in the locker room thinking, what just happened? Here's Gilbert, that inside shuttle pass, picked up by Darius. Darius in the air. Darius going for the end zone. That's an interception and a touchdown. Alabama takes charge after the Colt McCoy injury. That'll do it. Crimson Tide wins the national championship. The question, you know, what if Colt didn't get hurt is why I live in Birmingham. <laughs> I uh, lived in Dallas for a couple years, but got that question a lot. Felt like it was probably time to relocate. Last I checked, the two backs go for over 100 yards. So, could you have stopped the run with Colt out there? Unless he plays D-tackle, that probably wasn't gonna happen. I'm in France, they bring it up. I'm in Italy, they bring it up. People remember me for it so much. Changed my life. Thank you, Colt. <laughs> <laughs> this game sort of started the trajectory of Coach Saban and Alabama and all the success that they've had. And I think Texas has taken a gut punch from that game.